Okay, on the great taste of Las Vegas, we are going to cook many types of cookies. First, we need about four and a half cup of regular flour, four and a half cup, okay. Four and a half cup of almond flour, one cup. Some baking soda, baking soda is about two teaspoons. Soda into here. Half teaspoon of turmeric. A half teaspoon of salt. Some cinnamon. Shake about half teaspoon in there. One and a half cup of sugar. This is half cup. And then that may be too much. We just, that's enough on it's just one cup of sugar for the, for the whole thing so it's not too sweet. Three tap of yogurt, so which is uh, three big tap of yogurt. Three. Just stir them around to mix all of these together. We want to add wet ingredient into this. One and a half cup of milk. Go slowly, okay, because you don't want to, that's one cup and then a half cup. We're going to do, we're going to mix it first to make sure they're not too, too wet, okay? So to mix that first, just mix that. Another half cup. A tablespoon of vanilla to make them really smell so good. Yeah, more than a little tablespoon, okay? Probably drop a little bit of salt in there, because there's a lot. A little bit more salt in here. It's pretty good already, right? Mix it. To so the so you get the flour mixed with the yogurt and milk in here, yeah. Make it yummy, yeah. So we put one and a half cup of coconut oil in the mix. So it you have a moist cookie instead of a dry cookie. So that one cup. Okay, I'm gonna mix the oil into with everything. Wow, the consistency look pretty good. You don't need any more uh, flour or liquid than this. So that's a perfect uh, mix right now, okay? Next, we're going to put in many other type of item to make cookie, okay? To make a different type of cookie to eat. This is a healthy, uh, very little sugars. I cut most, I cut um, about one third of the sugar off. Cookie doesn't have to be really sweet, but it should have some sweet. In it so now look at your cookie dough so pretty and it healthy because it you don't use a lot of butter or anything like that okay it's so tasty uh, you mix until you don't see any flour there then your cookies are done when you make this you become a cookie queen okay because it, it's so good and it's easy okay so now you have your cookies right here so first, we're going to just uh, parchment paper here. So what you do is you just um, lay them down and get uh, the amount that you need it to make your first type of cookie. We're going to set up a cookie tray. At the same time, we should turn on the stove right now for baking. I think it started. Okay. Press start. start. So now we're going to lay the tray with foil paper. So we don't have to clean up very much. We're going to do this shape. This shape. I don't know what that is. This is a ring or diamond ring or something. That's the one. A tree. 
our tasty healthy cookies ready so now we're going to put it into the oven and we bake it until it browns okay we're going to check it in about 10 minutes to see how good it is how brown do you want the, the cookie to be so we'll check it at 642 to see if we need to cook more or not okay okay we are making a different type of cookie I have some chocolate in here going to melt it in a microwave to make chocolate cookie melted chocolate Mil milky and dark chocolates you put some dough in here you mix it and make chocolate cookie this is going to be your chocolate cookie we're going to put a little bit of lemon in here to make it tangy few drop in there so this is your chocolate cookie you put it into so this is chocolate we're going to make oatmeal raisin so what I do is I'm going to put in here the same cup, some oatmeal and some raisin I have here. Okay, I got some of these, put it in together. Some of the dough. Some of the dough, the basic dough. I'm going to roll the, the dough. So I'm going to make a shape of the flour. Okay, and then make another, and then make another shape. Make a round. We're going to make oatmeal raisin cookie. The first batch of cookie, we'll check it now. Wow, it's golden. We're going to taste the first batch of cookie. Look how pretty that is. I think that's very good. We can take that batches out because they already look the back and everything, the front look good. So that batch of cookie is pretty much done. I can have a, a, a bite of it. Mm. So this is done. I'm gonna get it, bring it out, and let it cool. The next set of cookie coming in is oatmeal and chocolate cookie. We're gonna do coconut cookie next, okay? is I'm going to put some lemon into this and then I'm going to mix coconut in here. As much as I want or as little as, I, as you want, you don't need to know, you don't need to be exact whatever you like. You just need to have it, the coconut stick to the dough and that's it. Okay, for this we're going to make Coconut shape, so that one shape. So we're going to put the next coconut cookie in, the next batch in here. Coconut cookie, this is oatmeal. So a batch of cookie depends on how big that is, should be about 15, 15 18 minutes. Oatmeal raisin cookie. We have a little bit of oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal raisin. Mm, so pretty. Mm, God, so good. So next we're going to make lemon cookie. We're going to cut some lemon. And we're going to put some grind into it. Some juice, lemon juice in here. I'm gonna make ginger cookie, so we put, we add one full tablespoon of ginger in here. 
and a second tablespoon, that's it. And then we're going to just mix this together. This is your ginger cookie. So we stop and we'll check the cookie in the chocolate. Oh, chocolate and oatmeal seem to be done now. So I'm going to take it out. Chocolate oatmeal raisin cookie. So I'm going to get a peanut butter cookie out. Peanut butter cookie, so that's it. That's what we need. Dark chocolate chip cookie. Okay, and then the peanut butter, and that's it. That's all we have for today. In the peanut butter, we're going to put in some of the like banana. banana. So we're going to roll it a little now so we can finish with them. So we're going to make peanut butter cookie right now and you probably want to put banana in here as well, it's going to be healthy so we we'll put some peanut butter banana in here and then we're going to do chocolate chip. Next we're going to make, uh, get the same dough and make chocolate chip cookie. Make the shape ready to go. So we're going to take the coconut cookie out. Wow, just perfect. Right there, 15 to 18 minutes, okay? Okay, so now we have two batch of cookie. We're gonna reuse this, cool down ready to make the next one. We'll put this one in. Second tray. Then, The coconut cookie is now done. So these are coconut cookie. It's now done. Look how yellow, golden. Ginger cookie and coconut cookie. Now golden, done. We take it out. This cookie is like a soft, chewy cookie, but I like it to be a little bit crispy, so I put it back in. So in about 10 more minutes, we'll check on them cookie for holidays and for any time in the years, a healthy cookie. You know what, because they have peanut butter and uh, the cookie has peanut butter and the cookie has lemon because you add more liquid into it so the cookie is going to be more chewy. Yeah. Wow, look how golden that is. The lemon cookie and ginger cookie is so crispy and chewy, it's so good. Crispy and chewy at the same time, okay? Oven cooling. I feel like I am a cookie queen today. All of these cookies, it's good for the holiday and you can freeze it and eat it throughout the year. Healthy coconut cookie, healthy ginger, banana cookie, chocolate and chocolate chip cookie. Hope you enjoy your cookie holiday from Great Taste of Las Vegas. Hope you are happy and healthy.